Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to create a laser pointer for your gun. And in order to do that we need a couple of things. I've already just made a, a laser pointer using a couple of cubes as you can see. And another cube inside of that. Let me delete this because I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. Uh, yeah, once you made these cubes look for the player's gun which is the M4 and place it inside of there okay and I just called it laser pointer and I called another one inside of it holder and the holder is gonna have the laser pointer actually showing out can you shrink it can you just shrink it down a bit there we go save it right let's continue um, Let's start creating a script for this. In the FPS script folder, right click, create a new JavaScript, and call this laser. Um, laser is a good name, I think. Laser point. Double click open my develop. And let's start creating the variables we need. Right, the first one's going to be far. Uh, lowercase c color one and it's going to be a type color with a capital C and it's going to be equals to color yellow oops I didn't do that it's going to be equals to color dot yellow okay copy that <coughs> and paste that there and change that to not yellow sorry it's gonna be red um, this one can be red as well for now save that now this is basically for the line renderer now before you continue do it I will show you what that is if you go to components and it's in not so long well, where is it yeah components particles and you got no it's not it's in one of these ones hold on there you go it's in this one and you can see it's line renderer right there okay normally you have to create it yourself you can if you click on something line render right there uh, do I want to put I don't say box collider there it is okay as you can see you can't see nothing I don't need to actually use it from here I'll be creating it through the script and that colors will be for the line render right the next one is gonna be for line render it with the lowercase l <coughs> it's going to be a type line render okay save that and in the start function let's create the line render first we're going to say line render the one we created our variable it's going to be equals to a game object and that game object is the cube that one there that the script will be attached to dot add component open bracket close bracket open curly brace line renderer okay so we're saying to that game object add a line renderer so it's going to go through this components and do that one then add a line render to that okay since it's done that we need to add the properties to it what material is going to have and so on okay so a line renderer dot material uh, it's going to be equals to a new I think it's uppercase here it is no it's not yeah material it's going to be a new material and we're going to look for a shader 
and we're going to say shader dot find open bracket close bracket and close bracket one more time inside these two put speech marks and here we want to look for the following one it's called particle um, particles or particle it's particles slash additive something like that uppercase <coughs> um, yeah well, I'll, what that does is basically saying once we get the line render add a new material to it uh, look for the shaders and find particles additive now if you go to unity and let me add a quickly line render to this one The material at the moment is set to nothing. Not sure it's in the wrong way. Hold on, this is the best way to show it. If I go right click here and create a new material, oh, where is the hell? Create new material right there. Now, as you can see, this is what it's looking for. Okay, right here. See where it says diffuse? We said look for particle additive. Okay. So what's it going to do? It's going to go here and look for particles over here and look for this one. And I got an error. What does it say? Line renderer dot material. Can't be the lowercase, it must be an uppercase. No, it is uppercase. I'll oh, come back. I'll come back to the last. Uh, let me just continue. Um, okay, once we've done that, we want uh, to set the line render colors next. So, line renderer dot set colors. It's got a property built into it. Open bracket, close bracket, close inside my colon, and in here we're going to say the first color is going to be color one, and the next one is going to be color two. There we go. Now let's set the width of the line renderer. Line renderer dot set with open bracket close bracket uh, I'm gonna set it to one for now but I'll show you why I did this uh, line renderer dot set vertex point I'll tell you what that means in a minute vertex count sorry open bracket close bracket and set that to two 